What's going on, Anchor Squad? It's your boy Janka bringing y'all back again with another reaction video. And for this video, it's called uh, Worcester, or we are Worcester Teen Dies After One Chip Challenge. So, from what I can remember, I think the one chip challenge is when someone eats like a very, very hot chip and they gotta like withstand it without drinking water and milk and everything, which is very dangerous. Uh, I think people have been doing this challenge for a while. Um, and then there's like other dangerous challenge, uh, challenges that people have done um, since I've been in like high school, especially when they had like the cinnamon challenge, the, the crate challenge, and all these other like challenges where it just put people in, in, in harm's way and where it could even potentially lead to death. So let's check this thing out. Um, I'm, I feel bad about the team. Uh, I never got involved with any of these challenges because I, I mean, I've seen people do people that done these challenges and, and got hurt and i i, I just i just want to say just don't do it because you, you can't get hurt you can't really get hurt doing these challenges so let's check this out though family wants everyone to know what they believe happened to their son who they say died after taking part in the so-called one chip challenge 14 year old harris waloba died suddenly a few Man. hours after eating the ultra spicy chip the family wants what did i say one tw two so 2023 one chip challenge coralina reaper plus naga viper pepper that sounds like a very hot and spicy thing where it like burn your esophagus this sounds like carolina reaper viper pepper like those th those four words right there just is, is a no-go and then looking at the package itself is like nah it's a no for me it's a no for me the chips banned and they want other families to know the danger wbz's christina hager joins us live and christina understandably this family is absolutely heartbroken so heartbroken, Lisa. They say they just haven't been able to speak publicly on camera about this. Until now, they're sharing this warning. Oh, my God. It's so painful. It was tough for her to talk about, but the mother of 14-year-old Harris Waloba wanted desperately to get the message out. Mm -hmm. She picked him up from Doherty High Doherty School. Doherty Memorial High School. Call from the nurse saying he had eaten a spicy tortilla chip and Called fainted. When I went there, he was laying down, and I said, I said, what was that? What was, what was the chip he ate? And this is why he showed me. It was an internet image of the Pocky brand 2023 one chip challenge. In this box, a single chip labeled Carolina Reaper and Naga Viper Pepper. Yeah. Within hours, his mother says he passed out again at home, went to the emergency room, and died. Dang. I pray to God that no parent will go through what I'm going through. I don't want to see anybody hurting the way I'm hurting. I miss my son so much. I miss him so much. The family is waiting for a cause of death from the Massachusetts medical examiner's autopsy, but they are convinced it was the chip that made their son sick, a healthy basketball player with no known allergy. Yeah. No pre-existing condition. Not to my knowledge. It's the subject of this a social is sad, media man. challenge. On the back of the package, a warning label says keep out of reach. So it says keep out of reach your children intended for adult consumption. Uh, I'm an adult and I'm still not going to consume it. Uh, do not eat if you have sensitive to spi if you are sensitive to spicy foods, allergic to peppers, nightshades, or cap so capsaicin. I think that's a type of pepper as well or are pregnant or have any medical conditions. After touching the chip, wash your hands with soap and do not touch your eyes or other sensitive areas. Uh, seek medical assistance should you experience difficulty breathing, fainting, or extended nausea. Like, like that right there is like a no-go. Like, no. Like, like that right, that's a red flag. And the everything on the back, yeah, red and black. Lead, like, come on. Like, no. Like, just reading that is like... <sighs> Just don't do this, man. Don't, don't, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Of children, 
but we found the chips in a store about 10 minutes from Wallaba's school. The clerk warned us to be careful. According to the National Capital Poison Center, it contains capsaicin, which typically causes mouth and throat pain. Yeah. But also result capsaicin. That's like a lot of things that you see, like police officers and military use and everything. That's that's like pepper spray stuff, like. Yeah, like, no, like, come on, man, like. In more serious health problems, his parents now begging the chips be taken off store shelves. We've been having sleepless nights, especially when I look at him, he's not going to come back anymore. <laughs> We did reach out to the company, Pocky. We have not heard back at this point. Meantime, this community is really rallying around the family. A local church has planned a basketball fundraiser this weekend to help pay for funeral expenses. Live in Worcester, Christina Hager, WBZ News. All right, Christina, wow. thank you. That whole thing is sad. Just my comments to that, just don't, just don't do it. Don't do the one chip challenge. It's not worth it. It's, it's, it's. It's sad, and, and even if you have like quote unquote good health conditions, just still don't do it. You know, just 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 don't do it. That's just, that's just my thoughts on that. I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't let no one. I wouldn't want anyone in my family to do it, uh, even if they were in good health or whatever. Just not worth it. Like like what you you get bragging rights. Like like even if you want money, like I wouldn't. I still wouldn't do it. It's not even worth it because. You have the the it has the potential of you being hospitalized because of how hot it is, and the, just reading the warning label is like, is it's just a no for me. Looking at the package is a no for me. Like I don't know if people get peer pressured in doing this, you know, get bullied in doing it and everything. Like people be like, oh, are you scared? Woo 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 this and that. I'd be like, yep, I show sure am scared and I don't want to die. Like definitely, like I. I would I wouldn't even give in to all that stuff. I would just be I would just like if, if I have I have quote unquote friends that would want me to do this and they quote unquote ain't really my friend. If they would want me to do something like this for 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 likes or views or whatever whatever reckon whatever like there's just there's just certain things that you just shouldn't do because it's not worth it. It's not worth the risk. It's not you know it's it's, it's not beneficial. You know we, we, you can well, get a. Get, there's a lot of internal things that can go wrong with this, and, and it, 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 it could be a cause of death, which, in this case, it happened. And, and my condo my condolences goes out to the families, and everything. Um, but just overall, I would just say just don't do it. And if you see someone doing it, just let them know, like, hey, like someone died from this, so just you know, look out, type of thing. Like, people are gonna do what they wanna do. They could look at this video, they could look at the news and everything, and be like. F everybody, I'm still doing it, you know. He ain't me, you know. People, you know, people they got their own opinion on how they want to handle things, and, and people may just think like, oh, that that's that's them, not me, and 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 it's it. I, I don't see it happening to me, or or I'm gonna just do what I want to do because I'm grown. Like people, you know, people gonna have their own choice or their own opinion about what they want to do. So, and, and you can't control them. They gonna do what they want to do, but. I, 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 all I can do is just try to get the word out and, and hopefully I can prevent some people from doing it because I, I don't want people to get hurt overall. So, all right, y'all, if, if, if y'all like my reaction to this, post your comments down below. Like and share with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel for more reaction videos. Make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Jay Anko on the down for 100,000 subscribers. And Jay Anko is out. I will be giving away $200 Amazon gift cards when this channel reaches 30,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video be subscribed to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any uploads. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the $200 Amazon gift card and include your Twitter handle. The winner will be announced once the channel reaches 30,000 subscribers.